I see a lot of folks I'd like to recognize, but I always get in trouble if I do that. But I would like to recognize Madam Secretary Keogh of the Arkansas Department of Energy and Environment. Thank you for being here today. And uh, State Rep uh, Spencer Hawks. Thanks for being here, Spencer. All right. I'd like to give a brief history of what I know about this area. I was the third generation Castleberry to own and operate a grocery store right there, right on that corner. I knew this area well. I knew Miss Leona Tysey. Who's, we knew just since high school, so I know Leon was getting old. But, uh, <laughs> but I worked in this area, and I actually owned the store in this area after, after I bought my grandfather and my father out. But the uh, scrapyard was here. E.J. Quattlebaum's uh, TV repair shop was right here, and Marion Quattlebaum's shop was right next to him. Mad Butcher was here. We had the Deluxe Diner, and Ebony, was it Ebony Motel? What was it? The Ebony. The okay. Ebony Motel. Yeah, the Ebony, Ebony Motel. Motel. Yeah. So, so I've got a pretty good history here. The best one I looked at every day when I came to work was the scrapyard. And you know, Conway was a different place back then. The family that owned the scrapyard, they were hard workers. They were here every day, rain or shine, and, and they provided a very good service for Conway at the time. But like everything else, things change, things grow, and, and uh, the city decided to purchase this and, and do something different with it, which, which is great. Um, we're here today to break ground on a beautiful new park for Conway and to celebrate a partnership. With our valuable partners at the uh, Arkansas Department of Energy and Environment and the Department of Agriculture, we wouldn't be here today. This site was designated as a, a brownfield by the US EPA. And uh, I don't know all the great details for it, but that was a very good indicator that there was possibly some pollutants and some things here that, that made this area really, really not much good for anything. Is that correct, Ms. Madam Secretary? So our partnership with the ADEE allowed us to remediate and clean up and to allow for new possibilities and new ideas for this property. It has allowed us to partnership with Miss Leona and the Pine Street community to look at this property with the vision of not only honoring the past, but to envision a bright future for this site. As you know, this will be uh, Dr. MLK Square here. And we also want to honor some of our uh, local residents of Pine Street here, some of the folks that have put so much into this community, uh, the Halbrooks and the uh, Madisons and uh, so many other families, and the Tysies. Uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but I graduated with Leon's brother, and uh, he was on a Wampus Cat team that from the time we were in sixth grade together till we graduated, I think they lost five games. Is that right, Leon? Wow. They were a heck of a ball club. Ecclesiastics 4.9 says, two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. Our work together will allow us, all of us here in Conway, to reap the rewards of work that couldn't be achieved by any one of us alone. Therefore, we celebrate this partnership with all of y'all. Thank you, and it's hot, and I'm done. Communities all around Arkansas have benefited uh, both economically and environmentally through our public-private partnership, and that's facilitated by our division of environmental quality, which is part of the new department we refer to uh, for, uh, under acts by the legislature and governor. Uh, and we're pleased that we were able to come together uh, and, and celebrate this day with the city of Conway. Um, I will start just recognizing I've got staff people all filtered all through your audience and community. So I'll just mention a few names and uh, I'll probably miss a few. So. I know we've got Jared Seifel here, who's our Office of Land Resources Director, Susan Speak, or his deputy. We've got Chelsea Wettstein, and she's been, our, she is truly our statewide brownfield coordinator, so she can tell you all the wonderful stories that we have and success stories. Anna Gail Griffiths, Diana Kilburn, Carrie Siebert, and I see Jeff LeMaster, who's hanging back here. That's someone there I'd like you to get to know. He is our uh, Director of Enterprise Services. That is your right-hand man for local government support. So we want him out in the community. If he's in the office, he's not doing his job. He's supposed to be out making sure that our resources are coming there to help your city and your community grow uh, and address issues that come uh, before us. So I like to compare brown fields to before and after shots, and you'll see some social media we've got going with a before and after on this site. And it's somewhat like Extreme Home Makeover, if any of y'all ever watched that show. We take something that, as the mayor said, is either in distress or, or falling on hard times. 
that has a lot of potential and we try to work to see it raise up and not only fix this site but invigorate other investment in the community and, and, and in the county. And I know you've got a lot between the college and, 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 and those other businesses around this block. So I hope all of you see increasing your property values from this and, and job creation. So that's the point. Our staff works closely since the inception. I have to give a shout out to Representative Hutt. Hawk, I'm sorry, I know the Hank and Hawk. So Hawk, uh, the legislature, all hundred members at the time the Brown Arkansas Brownfield Act was passed, I was at the department. All hundred members signed that act in the law before the governor did because they all thought this was the right thing for Arkansas. So thank to this is really created as a le legislative action. It provides liability relief to those that come in, like the city, and use the property, but it also assures that all the issues or concerns have been addressed before you put any citizens out there recreating. So everything's been uh, taken care of, and everyone can rest assured that it is not only a safe place, but it's a great place to, to recreate. So today we've had over a thousand acres in the state benefit from the Brownfield program and return to reuse. We have 51 successful projects, so I guess you're going to be, I don't know if you're 51 or 52, I don't know which one, but uh, we're happy to do that. But, um, I know that there was a number of ways this partnership worked, partly Arkansas Department of E&E funded uh, the assessment work out here. We brought a contractor, FTN Environmental, Mark Couches here as the lead contractor. He came out, did the assessment, about $108,000 went into just checking what the, was going on on the site. Another 20000 was spent watching the contractors that, the, that was hired under a, a federal contract. Your project got the attention of the federal EPA in a good way in that they, you successfully competed for a competitive grant, which doesn't happen in Arkansas very often that we're able to win those dollars, but those dollars came to your city and you were able to use those to pay for the cleanup. So at this point, it's been truly a, a, a lot of investment and now we're going to turn it over to the city to make the investment in the reduce. Hopefully you're getting some support from other partners there too. Anyway, we completed that. So I think just shy of $200,000 in remediation has been done at the site. So with that, I think it's just noteworthy to say uh, your partnerships have been recognized as effective. You've delivered, you're accountable, and that's what the government is looking for in these programs and your citizens. So excellent uh, success. Um, appreciate the partnership. Hopefully you can be uh, and invigorate others, not only here in this community, but others to follow your footsteps. And with that, because of the heat and mother, we have a we have a fake one and then we have a real one, which I'll leave you. But I'm, I'm at the point with the successful completion of this project, through my authority as the Cabinet Secretary of the Department of Unite, I'm very proud to announce that this site is ready for reuse. And it, I'm looking forward to returning to this site with my grandchildren to play in this park when the city has its big reveal day uh, and when it's ready for recreation. So with that, I want to present the certificate of completion and, and congratulate the mayor for this accomplishment. efforts to redevelop former Conway scrap metal site. The Arkansas Department of Energy Environment Division of Environmental Apply has determined the voluntary response action has been completed as set forth in our implementing agreement. This completion is acknowledged that all environmental conditions on the property are protective of human health and the environment based on its current and anticipated future use. And I know you've taken care of those issues, not just for the short term, but the long term through your deed restrictions. So thank you very much. With talking a little bit about where we go from here, and this project for me personally is is very exciting because I'm a city planner, and our, the joke inside the city is that the planners always plan what they never do, right? <laughs> what we finally get to do today, and so that that's it's great to see our dreams come to fruition with this and, and, and our groundbreaking. Uh, I'm ex so excited about what this project brings together. We've talked a lot about the Brownfield Grant, which we wouldn't be here without. 
Uh, and then also, additionally, another grant, another partnership with the state, with Arkansas Department of Agriculture and a Section 319 grant, uh, we have a water quality demonstration project that will also help with detention of stormwater downtown. We all know we have a, a, a flooding problem in our downtown, and this will be something that won't fix it, but it will help it. Uh, and then additionally, creating a high quality urban park. And what's so exciting about this for me is that we have an opportunity to bring something very unique, something very different for our community, and place it in an area of town that it can't be more deserving. We are giving the best in this location. Additionally, something that has been inspiring, I think, for all of us in the city throughout the process is to see the passion and the care of folks like Miss Leona. It has been inspiring to us. It has been something that has made us want to go above and beyond to make sure that this is a good project for this neighborhood and something for the entire community as well. Couldn't be, couldn't be more happier with additionally our, our partners with SWA Group and, and Crow Group. Uh, SWA, I mean literally we went through exercises early on and God bless them for, for taking the little drawings that we had and somehow taking that and making something out of it. They really actually took our vision. They took our vision and somehow those poorly crudely drawn things and made it into something that is beautiful. Uh, and then Crow Group, y'all are tasked with, with executing that. We're, we're so excited that y'all are part of, be a part of our partnership with this. And additionally, having leadership that has been willing to say yes. In a lot of instances, in a lot of communities, this wouldn't be happening, right? But we have had a mayor, we've had a council, we've had administrations that have been willing to say yes. And that, that is so important. So I think in closing, what, what's inspiring about this for me is that although it doesn't look like it today, this was literally a site where scrap and metal went to be disposed of, right? In, in a lot of ways. And now it's going to be turned into a place that is meant to heal. Something that was a dumping place is something that is meant to heal. It literally, the watershed in this area, it is going to be healing. The water that comes in, into it will be, I mean, the water that goes out of it will be cleaner than the water that went into it. And beyond that, I think it's also symbolic of beyond that in our, in our community. For a community that always hasn't necessarily been treated uh, in the way that is, is as equitable as it should be, now is being treated in a way that you're getting a first class amenity that is something that belongs to all of us and something that can bring us all together. And I think that's beautiful. So thank you. This is my first project in my home state. So I was born and raised in central Arkansas. I went to the U of A. Um, I've been in Dallas ever since, but I really want to thank the city of Conway as well for allowing SWA to be a part of this important project. And um, not only will this be a park uh, to demonstrate stormwater management, it will become a cultural asset to the city and the community in which it exists. So key features of the site, for those of you that haven't heard, um, includes an infiltration basin, which also is a multi-purpose lawn space. It has a water quality treatment train of bioswales and rain gardens that clean water by facilitating uh, deposition of suspended solids. Um, it traps and degrades pollutants to prevent downstream um, uh, build up and decreases downhill flooding by encouraging upstream infiltration. So some of the plant species that have been selected for this project um, are for water quality benefits, phytoremediation, which will help to continue to clean that soil over time um, and will foster the, the environment of pollinators. So it's going to foster future bioregional identity and hide its sense of place for uh, the park users. So the park will include a series of social spaces that provide educational, recreational, and cultural aspects that will foster ownership of the surrounding community. There will be an entry plaza here on this corner um, with an overlook, overlooking the park. There'll be walking trails, open lawn, and an amphitheater seating with performance space. So this performative public realm project will make the city of Conway more livable and more resilient. I'm Greg Smith, uh, Vice President of the Crow Group, and uh, we're very proud to be here. I was asked to represent our President, Brian Roman, and our company owner, Mike Miller. Uh, 
you know, on any given day, we can see a lot of projects that are being offered out there on the marketplace. We get to have the opportunity to spend time and effort in to, to turn in bids in competitive environments and negotiated environments. But in this particular case, this project just stuck out stuck out to us. It's become <laughs> one that once we saw it, it just it, it was something we really wanted to be a part of. So we were, uh, with the help of our staff in the office, really dug in and, and put a real effort into this. And the effort had to stop with the win. Uh, Pro Group is located in Morgan, Arkansas, and we, we really pride ourselves in trying to feature on our issues or our, our, our core group and quality, the safety, uh, communication, and cost control. And out of that, that whole center is centered around communications. So this really is a project that gives us an opportunity to exercise what we like to do best, and that's to communicate across the realm of all the professionals uh, that's been involved with this project, with the political side of this project, and with the city in general. So for that, we're very thankful to have the opportunity to have been awarded this project, and we pledge to you our complete effort and, and total dedication to bring this uh, to completion to the beautiful picture that you see right here. I'm a citizen of Conway. I've lived here for over 10 years. And uh, I remember when I saw this site when there wasn't anything but a heap of metal. So it's almost, uh, it's just a, a, a great gratification to have the opportunity to have this kind of quality in the city of Conway. I'd be remiss if I didn't also mention some people. Uh, Austin Foshi is one of our project managers. He would be in charge of this project. We have Bruce Sebron, which is our, one of our general superintendents. He would be next in command as far as the, the field execution. Uh, Rocky Hill will be on site superintendent, and he will have an earthwork specialist working for him uh, by the name of Robert Thacker. So with that team, we bring it to the table. And hopefully in a few months here, there will be a beautiful park that all of us in the city of Conway can enjoy. Thank you very much.